Okay. Um, so we're going to do Mission Inspiration, and this one is going to be quite a, an emotional one for me. Um, the first prompt is to glue down photographs of family members. Um, and at the start of this month, my great gran actually passed away, so I thought it would be nice to do a page with images of her. Um, so yeah, I'll be kind of putting this page off <laughs> just in, just because it's so kind of sad. Um, so this is a photograph of her at my aunt's wedding. And I'm going to be very careful and quickly brush over. Um, I have printed these off on a normal inkjet printer um, and I've sprayed them on the front and backs a couple of times with some uh, what you call it, fixative. Now the rest of the photographs are from her 100th birthday last January. So a few more months and she would have been 101. So Although we are all very, very sad that she's gone, we all agree that she's had a very lovely long life. I mean, she's had some hardships, but she's got some loving family all around her. and Yeah, so it's kind of a, you know, can't live forever, can we? And she wanted to make it to 100, so she did that. <laughs> Got her telegram from the Queen, which is lovely. I can see that some of the ink is moving, so not too much though. I've got a bubble there. If I can get rid of that. These photographs of all her children and grandchildren around her. that I want to film and somebody makes a lot of noise outside all the time. <laughs> oh, I wanted a bit of paper here just to cover the yellow. There we go. Now, how did I have it? Is it like... I'll put that too. Oh my goodness, it's not going well. Ooh, I need some more paper from under there because I did have it all covered. And then I moved it and I put it all back in a different place. <clears throat> okay. Mm -hmm. 
bubbling up again. Oh dear. Now I will get that dry and I will trim off the excess and we'll be back with the next step. Okay, so the next step is to add washes of colour. And I'm not going to use the suggested colours. Um, as you can see, there's a lilac colour in her birthday cake and my aunt's wedding was sort of a purple theme. So we're going for pale violet. Um, I'm going to put some down. And get some water. Spray it. Uh, let's see. opaque colour so I'm going to have to add a lot of white uh, not white, water Some of the colour off. a bit more just here because we don't need to see that table and a bit of background so we can go a bit more heavy there and rolling my paintbrush in the paint. <laughs> there we go, I like that. So Again, I'll get this dry, and then the next step is to add some paper shapes. Right, the next step is to add geometric paper shapes. So, obviously, I'm going for hearts. A scrap of lilac paper that I'm going to use. Uh, 
Okay. <laughs> uh, I think I may need the gel medium for this, which is down here. So my hair is right on my head. <laughs> okay. Just because that's quite a heavy card stock, so. down and then the next step is to add journaling, secret journaling of gratitude and love. It's actually quite a nice sunny winter's day today. Cold yesterday though. Oh, cold, cold, cold. Expect it's cold out there today. It's not much cloud. Apparently we're expecting snow. But we'll see. They always say that. Okay, so. Uh, pen. pen um,
go. That's my secret journaling. Mm. Let's see. Draw inside a stencil. Hmm. Well, how's about we just use this one? Um, oh, white might be nice. It's a little bit messy, but I can live with that. I like that. I think I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, a quote, a phrase, or a word. Right, so uh, what I'll do is I'll just have a, a quick look through my sentiment stickers and see what we've got. Okay, so looking through my Seven Dots Studio stickers, I found this one. This is Greatest Blessing. Um, I just think that, um, having known my great-grandmother, not a lot of people know their great-grandmother, you know, I don't know any of my others, um, so I do feel blessed to have known her, and without her, we wouldn't have had this amazing family around me, so, yeah, that to me is perfect. Um, add highlights with white. Well, I've already kind of done that. Um, what I might just do is grab this and uh, pop some little shines on the heart. And what's next? Create borders for music or book text. Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to use the book text actually because she did love to read. So <laughs> let me just dig out some book text and I'll be back. Okay, so I have these book pages that I glued together. I'm just trying to separate them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Here's the bag of cries outside. Oh my goodness, they are loud today. <laughs> so what have we got? We've got that and that. And that. Okay. So it's gonna completely cover some of these hearts, but never mind. Well, that medium out. Speaking very much through this one, there's <laughs> not really a lot to say. Just gluing it down. Just getting a bit cluttered, so let's move some stuff out to me. Here we go. Don't need that now. Ooh. Um, oops. Didn't know that was a tough. 
just there we go I'm trying to think about next year and what kind of journal I'm going to work in. I like using the loose leaves for this actually because I can take them out one at a time. I'm not going to worry about the spine breaking or the pages doing that weird thing when you can't work straight, you know. So I might do something similar. The size is not bad. I may go a bit bigger next year, though. I might make my own pages up. And I quite like having the rounded corners actually. There we go. That's just some two. Let's take that down nicely. Sorry, it'll be quiet there. I like that, it's very nice. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you uh, want to join in with the fun, you can still do it. Um, and it's November, but you can find all the old prompts on Mike's page, which I will link down there in the description. Um, yeah, it's really good fun and I'm definitely going to do it again next year. So, I will see you soon.